Ready. So basically, basically, I don't really care. I, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm chilling right now, anyways. This is a, this is a person that was saying, "Vibe, how do you defend Ling floods with BDGM? It feels really hard." Or I don't remember exactly what he said exa exactly, but he was saying, "I don't know if you can defend Ling floods with BDGM build of ZVZ." Essentially, I was like, "I, yeah, I think you can. I, I'm sure you can." And uh, we'll see what goes on. And we'll break it down. So this is like platinum level B to GM essentially. And when I say I think you can, I know you can. It's not one of the. It's not. It's not a thing of me questioning it. I already know you can. I'm just being nice. <laughs> Drone splits not not apply. I don't care. I I guys. You have to realize, I fucking hate playing slow. I can't stand it. I cannot fucking stand not touching my keyboard in this game and being like, let's play at fucking 30 APM. I can't stand it. So, I'm drone sweating my fucking drones. At least. This is not even real beta GM. It's, it's, uh, it's just a random example game. And so far right now, I've not done anything that's crazy. I wasn't serious. I don't know what chat is or isn't serious, dude. Okay? I don't know what thing is going on. So now we look at his base and we go, is his hatchery later than mine? And if it is, we make a spine crawler. No, it's about the same. It's roughly similar. So we make drones and no spine right now. So if links flooded me right now, they would be slow links. It's physically impossible for them to be speed links right now. I'll let his overlord live. I won't. I won't kill it. I'll because uh, it kind of skews the example, right? I'll let it live with like one hit point. Okay, we're getting flooded right now. So, let's start making roaches. Also, let's just go ahead and do this. I'll just show them this, literally. Why not? Super easy. I literally just built buildings behind my buildings. 
Pull my queen down as well. But the broodlings, every time they die, they're helping kill the zergling. I'll drink my hatchery again. Okay. So. Vibes, does your back ever hurt with your posture? Or are you just pliable as fuck? Uh, I feel fine. I feel okay. Okay, so this was a, like a... Okay, so you even went plus one fucking melee. You went for plus one melee. You went fucking hard into the Lingolin. Super, super hard. This is like melee first and then speed. <coughs> now. If you see a flood like this, I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw two, two things out there, okay? Standard speedling, standard speedlings, okay? Will be done probably around 3:30. Standard speeds builds, standard speed builds, probably around 3:30. Your speed will be done, somewhere in that range. The fact that I saw a move out, like I can already see right now, 3:45. Links still don't even have speed yet. And it's also a fucking large amount of it. I can see it with my overlord, right? I have time to react to this. I didn't even... I Like, if like I wouldn't even expect you to think about speedlings as... Uh, you know, oh, he doesn't have speed yet? It's the plus one, obviously. You could make that distinguish... Uh, you, you could distinguish that, though, because why the fuck would there still be no speed right now? It doesn't make any sense, other than, other than the fact that you didn't start speed first. You probably did something else with your gas first, and why would you not go gas either early if you were doing it all in? That's this crazy. You're not going to go gasless and then just make a bunch of lings like this. It's terrible. So, it would make sense if you think about it that you went melee first into speed. And they both upgrades will finish at the same time, and the reason why is because plus one melee is a longer upgrade. It's 114 total seconds compared to that of speed, which is 79. So, they, like... And the dip, why the reason why they're finishing at the same time is because your first 100 gas goes into melee, and then while mining gas off of one gas geyser, you mine up to 100 gas again. They both cost 100 gas, and you mine up to a, your second 100 gas, and then you start speed. And in the time difference of how long it takes you to mine 100 gas is the time difference roughly of how much different the upgrades are of 114 to 79. Like it, it kind of balances out to where the both the upgrades finish at the same time. And then I can see you only made up to 16, or you made actually 19 drones. And you ripped off your three gas drones and you put them on your natural. Which is fine. It's all good and well and dandy, hunky-dory, whatever. But I have plenty of time to react to this. I can see that it's happening. I can see the slowlings are leaving the base at like 345 because I saw these lings moving first. And this is not when I first reacted to it. Like, this is not when I first saw it. I saw it like, like literally three, four, maybe even five seconds ago. Because my overlord spotted it right... Look at the minimap. Watch the minimap. Look at the minimap right now. I'm starting to see a bit of a move out at 342. So I like I'm literally seeing this at 342. So like I said, it was a few seconds before the timer in the game just just, just now. But 342. There it is. Hit play. There's like a little blob. And now there's a fucking big blob. That is a big ass blob. That is fucking huge. That blob, look at the size of an overlord. And now look at the size of that blob. That blob is not like, oh, it's like six zerglings. No, the previous blob was like six zerglings. That blob is like fucking 30 zerglings. Like, from what I see already. That is a humongous blob of lings. So, because uh, the overlord is also bigger than a zergling. So that is not even how big a zergling. Like, a zergling would be even smaller than that overlord. That is a big, big, big blob moving at my base right now. Um... So, if you find yourself in a situation like this, how did you know to build th the first three of chambers? So, I built a Roachhorn and double Evo chamber, and this is standard in my BDGM series. This is standard. This is what I do in BDGM in general. It's a gasless Roach tech layer build, and blocking your base in ZVZ is standard. This makes you circumvent the entire Lingbane aspect of the game because you have your base walled off now if you spot a ridiculously large all-in from your opponent that's just fucking this fat all-in it would be in your best interest 
to maintain range DPS as long as possible because if my queen dies... So, I yeah, this is something I would say. I may, Maybe I didn't get all in like this exactly. So, not this is a good example. Uh, uh, orange tantrum. Or a Renga tantrum. But... You well, like in a situation like this, where there's clearly a fuckload of zerglings here, this is this is a lot. Also, it's plus one melee, which is even more extreme. If I maintain range DPS as long as possible, I have a good chance of winning. Also, if I allow this this kind of a player to kill my wall, it creates basically like pseudo zerglings that will kill Zer his zerglings also even faster. So every time an Evo Chamber dies or a Roach Warren dies, it literally spawns six Broodlings. And a Broodling does four fucking damage. And it has 30 hit points. And it hits, a, a honestly, even faster than a Zergling does. Now, these Lings are about to have six damage because they're about to be plus one melee. So they're going to kind of shit on Broodlings. But they're still going to take damage from Broodlings. Like, they, the Broodling damage is going to actually be somewhat impactful. And the smaller the Zergling count gets, the more impactful Broodling DPS will be. Because every Zergling that dies reduces the surrounding potential of the Zerglings over the Broodlings. So the, like, if the Broodlings are getting fully surrounded after a while, they'll actually start killing more Zerglings because of that. And it, what it also does on top of that is it makes all the Zergling AI get off the buildings if they're on A-move, and they jump on the Broodlings, which buys my buildings more time to stay alive, which in turn buys my range units more time to do DPS. So... When I see that big fucking blob, I just go, you know what? Let's move this queen out of the door. And I don't even react to it very fast, by the way. I'm reacting to this like 10 seconds late. I finally built the Evo Chamber at 358, and I saw the move out at 342. Or realistically, 345 for the big one. But 342 was when I saw the initial Lings still not having speed yet. Uh, and now suddenly the Lings, the Lings arrive, and the fact that I have a doorway with an Evo Chamber here... This is this Evo Chamber, the fact that it's in the doorway, is guaranteed not going to die. Why is it not going to die? Because these Lings cannot get full surface area on it. Only one Zergling at a time can hit this Evo Chamber. Maybe two if somehow they get pushed in, really scrunched it, like really shoved in there. Maybe two. But even if it was two Zerglings hitting this Evo Chamber, it starts with like 75 hit points. And it builds hit points at a rate that is faster than two Lings can do DPS. It builds hit points faster than, uh, it would be, uh, it's 24 damage. If it was two lings, it's 24 damage every one second. This Evo Chamber builds health faster than 24 health a second. Look, look at it. We'll go, we'll literally do one second, okay? Get it exactly at one second. It's 100, 100 basically 100 hit points, okay? 100 hit points at one second. Now watch it two seconds. It's, a, like, it's, it's hard to fucking say in the replay timer. It's actually 20, like 25 hit points a second. Because like we're still on 2, and it's at 26 now. Like, it's... Now we're at 30. Like, it's even more. Now we're at 34. It's still 2. Like, it's it, like, there's decimals here, which is what I'm using here. We're still on 2. It's 37. You get my point. It builds more than 24 hit points a second. So what does that mean? It can't die faster than... Like, it's not going to die faster than it builds. So it guarantees that it's going to finish before it dies. And what that does is if it finishes before it dies, it's going to have the ability to spawn Broodlings. It's going to clearly finish before it, before it dies. 100%. Now, with that being said... With that being said... Uh, like, you, you could actually do the math on it yourself. Like, someone could do this, okay? What is... 675 divided by 25. Is that... Uh, like 20, It's 27. So, essentially, it, it's, it supposedly builds roughly about 27 hit points a second. It's not 750, by the way. You can't do 750 because it starts with 75. It doesn't start at 1. It starts at 75. It builds 27 HP a second. So it, it yeah it's fine it's fine like it, the thing is too, is uh. The thing is too is like no fucking Zerg player is going to honestly just a move the fucking inner Evo chamber. Nobody's gonna do that. Nobody is going to do that. 
Okay, it's fucking terrible. What people are going to normally do here is they're going to A move and they're going to kill all your wall. They're not going to kill a doorway. Because what happens if he kills the doorway? I can, like, create a new doorway behind my doorway and then he's fucked again, right? All I'd have to do to fuck him over is I would put an Evo Chamber right there. If he was killing this Evo Chamber, for instance, I could put one right there. I could put one right there. And I could stand right there with my units. Or I could literally put an Evo Chamber right there, a second Evo Chamber right there, and a third Evo Chamber right there. I could do that too. And then suddenly I have another wall behind my wall. So nobody's going to kill one building. It's not going to happen because by the time he killed one building, so many of his lings would be dead that shit would just be, it would be over. The push would be over. So he's going to kill every wall to create as many openings as he can. That's just what's going to happen. And as he does this, all I got to do is fill in the gaps. All I got to do is fill in the gaps. And what are the gaps? The gaps are this big gap right here, which is the Evo Chambers in the front, and behind the Roach Warren, which means right there. So if I put one Evo Chamber right there, and I fill in three Evo Chambers, there, there, and there, my whole wall is covered. And I, I don't have to do it immediately. You have plenty, you have like 20 seconds to react to this as it's happening. So you don't need to panic. You just need to build it as, you know, your wall starts getting killed. Just build new wall. And I'm building roaches right now. And by the way, I made it to full saturation. I'm literally, I, I, I am literally at the B to GM saturation. If this push would have came a little bit faster, by all means, you could maybe not make your last like five drones. You could sit on like maybe... Like three, uh, like one of your gases has three out of three. Your mineral line has like twelve out of sixteen, and your second gas isn't done yet, or it's it's not it's done, but maybe it's only got like one out of three drones on it, or whatever. You don't have to fully saturate every game if you're getting all in really fucking fast. If he would have showed me lings faster than this, so instead of like three forty three or three forty five, if he would have showed me lings at like three fifteen, I could have just cut drones there. As soon as my roach worm was done, it just made roaches immediately. And it, like, it would have been easier to defend that too. Be the reason why is because he wouldn't have had plus one melee and he wouldn't have had sp uh, speed. It would have just been unupgraded slow lings for like 30 seconds smacking my wall where my roaches and ro queens could be killing it over it. So the point, the, again, the point is, the point is all you got to do, all you got to do to beat this is just build fucking a wall. That's it. Just kill it over the wall and build a wall. Watch how fast these, these Zerglings die once my wall starts breaking. It's fucking insane. <clears throat> so look, I haven't even started building a wall yet. And all my buildings are fucking orange. They're like yellow to orange. Like they're going to clearly die. So what am I doing? I'm starting to build more wall. I grab a couple drones and I build new Evo Chambers and a wall behind my wall. And now, new walls are coming up. And look at the Broodlings. Again, Broodling, 30 hit points, 4 damage every 0.46 seconds. It attacks slightly faster than a Zergling. It does a little bit less damage than a Zergling, but it attacks faster than a Zergling. And it has very comparable health to a Zergling. And it fucks over the AI of Zerglings. It buys you time to do DPS behind your wall. <coughs> now, I managed to only get out 5 Roaches before my Roach Warren died. Because it was the first building to die. Which is totally fine. 5 Roaches... Is they're gonna kill a lot here. And look at the broodlings. Look at the broodlings. Look at these broodlings just beat ass. This is like now basically it's like I have nine, really ten zerglings in the fight. It's actually five broodlings per building, I think. I don't think it's six. And you see like you see what happens if like for, he just clicked that building right there for a second. If a Zerg player clicks a building in a choke point, it will not die. It'll go up super easy because it's a choke point, and I will just get so much free DPS. And now look at this Zergling count. Look at the units lost. I've lost three buildings. In the time it took me to lose my front load of my wall, which is a Roach Warren and two Evo Chambers, the Zerg all inner who has plus one melee Zerglings, has already lost fucking 25 Zerglings. That is a substantial amount of the, the all-in already eliminated. And I'm also making a new Roach Warren in my main base. I'm not just never making a Roach Warren. I just made a new one in my main as my like, one over here died. So I am still making Roach Warren. It's just I'm having to remake it somewhere, somewhere that's safer because I don't want to... Be, here's why you don't want to put a new Roach Warren in your wall. Number one, it's more expensive than an Evo Chamber. 
number two, it has uh, only slightly less hit or sorry, a Roach Horn only has slightly more hit points than, a, than an Evo Chamber. But here's the big one, number three. Evo Chamber build time is 25 seconds. Roach Horn build time is 39. A Roach Horn does not generate hit points at 27 hit points a second. It generates hit points at a... What is... You have to do the math on this again. If a Roach Horn starts with 10% of its health, which is 85, what is... Uh, what is 775... Or divided by 39. What is that? That's how many hit points a second it gets. It's 19 hit points a second. Exactly. If you have a building generating 19 hit points a second, it's going to die a lot faster because that's per second. That adds up really fucking fast as the difference of 27. So you don't want to fucking have a building that takes longer to build in your doorway like this. You want to have all Evo chambers. Once it gets to this point and you're building a new wall, all fucking Evos. Because you want the building to finish before it dies, and the faster the build time is in the building, the more likely it's going to finish. Because if it finishes, it not only gets armor. When it's building like this, it has no armor. When it is done, it has armor. So when it's done, it's massively stronger. It reduces a lot of the Zergling DPS. And it also has the ability to make broodlings when it dies, which is fucking huge. Because if a Evo Chamber or in any building, it doesn't matter what it is, if any building for Zerg dies that is under construction, it does not spawn broodlings. It just blows up in a bloody bubble and it's dead. It's gone. So you don't want fucking slow build time buildings in your doorway at all. And also static D structures like spore crawlers and spine crawlers. They don't spawn breedlings either, so you don't want the, you don't want to use those either. That's not a good idea. Also, spines build like fucking super slow. And I actually think that zerglings, if you put a spore crawler next to an evo chamber, I actually think zerglings could like fit through spore crawlers. Uh, like it depends on where it's put, but it yeah, it's not always guaranteed to block. It's it, it feels very questionable. I would not use spores if you're someone who's like, what about spore crawler? No, just use evos. Just just fuck evos all the way, baby. Just evos only. It's the cheapest structure you can make as well. Uh, which is amazing. It's like so good for this kind of defensive wall ends. But now, just watch units lost. Watch how fast the Zerglings keep bleeding out. And now, here we go. Breedlings are about to spawn. How many Breedlings does it spawn? I feel like I'm crazy. It does spawn six. It uh, Okay, you're just killing them really fast. I was pretty sure it spawned six. It does spawn six. I was like, is this fucking five? But look at this. That's the fourth building that's died, right? That's the fourth building that's died. And what did I do? I have my units. This At this point in time now, I can't actually block this anymore with uh, an Evo Chamber because it's too close to my hatchery. And again, I would not rely on a Spore Crawler. Personally, I would not rely on Spore Crawlers. All I did was because I'm too close to the hatchery now, I just put my units stuffed in the doorway. So now my Queens and Roaches are blocking the door so he can't just run into my base. I just literally right-clicked the Evo Chamber, so I got super stuck into it while it was built while the while this Evo Chamber was blocking here, I right-clicked it so it was in the way. That's it. So and then I as soon as I right-clicked it, I held position my units. So we're good to go. You can like you can or you can just aim move it. It doesn't matter. If you if he doesn't ever run away, you don't need to hold position, it's fine. Just make sure you're in the way of the door is all it means. That's all you gotta do. So he can't just right-click into your base and surround you. He's only coming from another choke point again. You keep the choke point. But so again, so far four buildings have died. That's it for us. 32 lings have died up to this point. And again, like I just said, these broodlings are spawning right now. And the ling count's getting a lot more thin here. It's getting a lot more thin. It's about to be one page of lings. And that means that broodlings are going to get better and better and better trades. Now, my first roach is about to die. I could transfuse this roach two, or literally once with this queen and then again a second time with this queen. I could transfuse this bad boy two fucking times. We could. We could transfuse it. If you wanted to tra just use that ability once, you could totally fucking do it. But look at this now. Look at the link out. It's under a page. It's literally under a page. My roach warren is still, it's only like halfway done, so it's not going to be done for a while. But also, look what I'm doing as well. Here's a, here's a big thing too. Because my Roach Warren died, and I can't actually make Roaches right now, we could do a couple things. We could make Mass Lings if we needed to. That'd be great. That would be another buffer to my army if I felt like I needed to do that. I'm making Queens. 
I pulled all my queens down to fight the doorway, which is three, which is normal for the build. I always make three, but I'm making four and five in the hatcheries right now. So these queens and roaches are all doing DPS the whole time. And, uh, if you know, so I could either make roach, I could make lings or whatever if I need, if I really felt like I needed to, but, and I could transfuse. So there's a lot of options here that we have. The roach dies, but by the time the roach dies, look at the pressure now. It's kind of just Dunskis. And this is what your games will probably look like a lot of times. And now, because again, this is also, it, you're not going to get flooded. Here's the thing too, where a lot of people, I don't want a lot of people to be like confused. You are not going to get flooded by a wave that is that big every time. You are not going to get flooded by a wave that is that big every time. You're not. Here's why. From now on, after you've killed the wave, look what's coming now. Two. Eight. Two. Two. That's it. This wave is an inject wave. That's an inject wave. This is automated larva. This is automated larva. This is automated larva. These are not, this, this is one inject wave. The reason why you just had to, like, the reason why the defense had to have, like, 45, 50 fucking lings at it in the first place is because it was not one inject wave. It was a accumulation of, like, five inject waves or, like, four inject, or not five, more like three to four. It was a, an accumulation of making lings for, like, two minutes straight. It was not just one round. So that wave is never going to be that big again. And now look at the roach horn. It's about done. And I still have roaches and queens because they were behind the wall. And now if I'm able to go back into roaches off of 35 drones versus 19, I'm fucking solid. I could make another round of roaches. I could easily shut down these lings from now on. And then after I make another round of roaches... I could go back to making drones and taking my third base and going into like 1-1 one, one upgrades, carapace and uh, weapons with roach speed. And then I'm just like easy peasy. Easy fucking peasy. This, this dude is clearly like if this, if this dude, if a game like this happens and this dude <coughs> goes back into droning, 100% he's going to die to the roach timing and roach hydro timing whenever that happens. He's never going to be able to recover. He's so far behind in a macro game. And if he just keeps flooding lings... Once you get to a point where you have, like, if you make, like, 20 roaches or, like, 30 roaches and he keeps flooding you like this over and over and over, you're going to crush him every time. The only thing you'd have to be worried about is if he does a second wave where he, like, just, if you make drones for your third base and he just sits there for, like, another 90 seconds and he builds up a new round of lings and goes again while you take your third base, all you got to do, literally all you got to do is go like this. How about I just, like, you're like, oh, look, the, the ling wave's coming. How about I just make some fucking Evo Chambers again? Just be very liberal with making evo chambers in doorways of your base whenever you put a structure in front of a melee unit and you have range units dpsing over it your defensive capabilities go up like tenfold it's the exact same logic for terran like why does terran always build on their ramp because if a marine is gonna if one marine has to fight 12 zerglings the marine's gonna lose very easy but if a Marine has to fight 12 Zerglings behind a couple depots in a barracks, one Marine can now suddenly kill 12 Zerglings and not die. Like, it won't even take any damage. Because when a, when a range unit is DPSing melee units behind a wall, in a choke point, is on top of that, suddenly that range unit gets insane efficiency. So, that's all you gotta do. That's, uh, just build Evo Chamber wall, build Roaches, build Queens, and, uh, like, literally just DPS over the wall, over the range wall, and watch Broodlings also spawn into the fucking, into the Zergling wave, and then it just, it, like, it also adds DPS to your defense. It's, like, literally, like, artificial Zerglings. Anyways, hope that helps. Hope that helps. You know what? Fuck it. I'll upload that. Right, I'll, I'll make a video end right now. Guys, thank you for watching this, uh... <coughs> Ling defense. I hope that helps someone out there about dealing with shit like that. It's definitely doable to defend Ling all ends. You just gotta literally build defense. Like build a build build a defensive architecture setup. Like build a wall. And you're fucking good. But thank you guys for watching. I'll uh I'll post this.
later tonight for people on Twitch and people on YouTube that are watching this. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. Go check out some more videos. Boom, bang, bada bing, bada boom. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, good luck and peace. See you guys.